Oh, hey, good morning. I'm in trouble, kind of, because I've got all this pixel ribbon stuff here, which is all fine and everything, and I'll explain that in a moment. But first, I've got this, and I need to go grab a plug, because um, I don't even know where you buy plugs from on the high street nowadays. So let's go find ourselves a plug. So this here is Shoesby Museum and Arts Gallery, and as part of the Arts Trail in a couple of months, they're going to have an installation. And Jess asked me, hey, Dan, you know how to control LED lights, don't you? And of course, I said yes. Well, uh, I guess I forgot it's Bank Holiday Monday because the hardware store is shut. So, uh, so no plug for me today. So I guess we'll talk a little bit more about what's going on. Long story short, Jess got a deal on all this hardware and the ribbons and stuff. And I know there's a lot of different ways of talking to these ribbons. I would use code, but there's this Artnet software, DMX control, pixel mode, all of that type of stuff. But because it's an installation, the simplest way is this standalone mode where you put a show, a display, a predefined sequence for the lights onto an SD card that you then slot into this SD slot here. And then when this turns on, it just plays which is obviously best for an installation in a museum. They can switch it on and then it just goes. My other problem though, is that the installation depends on a series of LED ribbons that are all 3.6 meters long, which is 220 LEDs. And these ribbons come in five meters and 300 LEDs. So I have to find out how to cut these ribbons down into 220s, how to attach them together. And I hate soldering, I hate DIY, I hate anything to do with wiring. So I'm gonna do some YouTube video watching to work out how I can shorten these and then what to do with the leftover bits, how to join them all together and all that. Today's mission is to buy a plug with a 13 amp fuse. And it feels like that shouldn't be a hard thing to do. And yet I completely failed yesterday because there's nowhere in the town center you can buy plugs. So hopefully having that plug will be enough to test out the lights just to make sure you know, they work and I can wire them up properly. And then there's a whole bunch of maths to do. It's lunchtime and... Noisy birds. It's lunchtime and I'm off to buy a plug. Well, I hope anyway. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good, thanks. Awesome. I now have a plug. Let's go back to the studio. So as expected, we've gone from being too cold, like a week ago, to being too blisteringly hot. Nearly, it's not that bad yet. Now, I haven't recorded any video today because I've just been doing more script writing. That's nearly done. Well, the first draft anyway. Well, I'm off to meet a friend in the quarry to talk about spirographs, I think. So let's do that. I've had my meeting in the quarry. Obviously, I haven't shown you any video footage of that because we're just having a titty chat. Uh, it was quite nice and lovely, but I realized if I just didn't come back to say anything, I'd leave you hanging. So I'm back, I'm done for the day. I'm gonna head back to the studio, pack up, and head home to have a relaxing evening. Thursday, can't remember what's happening tomorrow, but something is, so I'll catch up with you then. All right, so here's the update on this. Uh, this the installation this is going to be for is a 12 foot by 12 foot or 3.6 meters 
in height and it has lots of these vertically but these are five meters so they need to be cut down and also I need to join them daisy chain them from one end to the next one but you also need to reinsert power every five meters I think I've got all that covered but that's what these are for they allow me to switch from cut one of these down and then switch to this type of cable so that's the first problem so here there are four outputs and each of these can control 1024 LED lights. Cool. However, the software that runs this runs on a PC. You're supposed to be on the same network to copy all the files over. However, it's got this handy SD card down here with a flip of one of these dipper switches. In theory, if I switch this on, this should start playing the first scene on this SD card by default. So what I did is I set up a virtual PC in the cloud, designed this light show, this is just a test one, emailed the file to myself, stuck it on there, and it all works. But that's just one ribbon. So the next job is to get some more and get four outputs and to daisy chain some of these together. And if that all works, then I know that we're good to go. Well, it's a bit bright, a bit weird. Uh, I'm just heading up to see Jess so I can get a lift to the shed. I'm not sure if I'll be able to video from there or not, but if I do, I'll drop some footage in here. I'm in the echoey old studio, just checking in, finished the meeting. So we've decided that the build time for building this um, installation is too short for the deadline that we have. So we're going to push it until next year, uh, which means I'm putting the light stuff on hold for a moment. I still get to try it out and I still got to order some more light strips so I can actually check what I'm doing works properly. But the installation next year, which is like a little bit off my plate, which is always good. So yeah, I thought I'd run the update there. I thought it was going to be fun because I was going to be able to show you the whole installation process. But that's going to have to wait now. I'm calling it a day because it's hot and I need to go home. I need to cook some food. So we'll catch up tomorrow. I think I'm just going to leave all this stuff here till tomorrow. Right, bye. <laughs>
the last one, then I'll have the first draft of them all done, and then I can do the next revision and get those all polished. Whew, I wasn't really expecting a chitty chat thing like this, but there we go. I don't have a clue what is in the videos for the week that you've just seen. I literally can't remember even what happened on Wednesday or Tuesday. So I'm gonna grab some lunch now, edit this video, and see if anything I've recorded makes any sense whatsoever. It may be a disjointed video you've just watched, or I might have been able to smooth it out a little bit. No idea. Anyway, I'm gonna go eat some food. I will catch you in the edit. Bye.